I do a combination of field work and experimental work. And in both these components, there is an aspect in modeling that is quite important. A main aspect of my research over the last years has focused on dolomitization. For the oil industry, dolomite is quite important because dolostones can be better reservoirs than limestone. The modeling would be for predicting how these dolomite bodies would look underground in the subsurface for things where we cannot do the actual measurement. Well, if we were to be able to predict porosity and permeability characteristics of all of what is under our feet, we would indeed have a good knowledge on which rocks are good reservoirs, so where we could find oil or, or just good aquifers for drinking water. Or on the contrary, where we have like low porosity and permeability, this would be good, for example, um, to contain uh, radioactive waste uh, material. It really helps because it makes things much faster, it computer things much faster than we do. So. I think the advantage of modeling in the new research is is that you, you can look at much longer time scales so and and you can just test things in an easy well easy maybe not easy but cheaper way than really doing the the, the experiments itself so it it restricts or it, it confines which experiments are good to do or which would be just useless if, if you make a prediction on beforehand so I think it, it helps focusing the science um, much better and will therefore... So I, I did have mathematics but I never had a real programming course and, and now I feel I would have benefited from having had this like when, when I was younger. So I think in the schools there should be a bigger focus on, on like learning, coding, um, because it's, it's part of our life. <laughs>